May I have your attention, please? Hey, hey, niggas ain't got respect. Niggas just got accept. Yeah, I know. I got my hair dyed red. It's kind of random, but I. But this is something I've been meaning to talk about, right? Bro, cancel culture. So ever since the whole Doja Cat incident and everything else, people have been talking about, yo, Doja Cat's canceled this, Doja Cat canceled that. And I think I've made like three too many posts about it already. <laughs> but hey, man, like I, I did one about is Doja Cat canceled? I did one on Doja Cat is canceled compilation TikTok meme. I said it in the last video and I'm saying it again. People think that they have the power to cancel somebody. The only way you can cancel a celebrity is if they have it in the mentality. My personal opinion, Doja Cat's not canceled. And she's not going to be canceled for a while, okay? Unless she does this certain situation again to the point where it gets out of control. You know what I'm saying? I genuinely feel that for people to just say, yo, Doja Cat's canceled and everything. But you won't cancel the people that actually need to be canceled. Yeah, it, it makes me not take cancel culture serious, which I already didn't. So with that being said, that is why this name of the video is called Why Cancel Culture Should Be Canceled. I think people have way too much power or think they have way too much power on social media than what they do already. And I feel like they are kind of getting out of control with this at this point. So let me talk to y'all about this, right? Let me analyze this Doja Cat situation, right? Doja Cat have posted, you know, some words on her picture or on her page and everything. And she posted an apology. Then people was like, Oh, she didn't, she didn't go on live or she didn't say it in the video. So I'm not taking this one serious. She's not, I, I don't believe her. Then she goes head on live. Then people was on live and they're like, oh, she just rambling, man. She ain't really saying too much. What, what do y'all want from her? She sat there, she apologized. And I actually analyzed the apology. Yes, she stumbled on a few words and everything. But dude, when you're caught doing something and you're obviously guilty, it, it, it's it's kind of to the point. Oh snap, bro, she said, yo, I'm a dumbass. I did this, I did that. I was messed up in that situation and I was drunk. And I remember in the first video I did, I said, yo, is Doja Cat off the stuff? I don't know. Turns out she was, sometimes she was a bit drunk, okay? And I can see it. I can honestly see it. And the one thing, that impressed me about her apology. And not only did she admit when she was wrong, she didn't make a single excuse. The only thing she said was she was she was drunk on a few of those and she was telling the truth about that. There's no more to it. And, and the crazy thing is, I, I personally apologize because I said, yo, so think about it. Doja Cat was apparently stripping for the Ku Klux Klan crew. Apparently, most of them weren't even like racist. It just, you know, racist people that came in and came out. And just like usual group chats, when racist things are said, they got taken out. Simple as that. And the only thing I will say is, you know, I, I've never heard a, a mixed person say the N word with the hard R out of drunkness. I don't think I've ever heard that before, but I mean, what are you going to do? I personally forgive Doja Cat. I said this. I said Doja Cat's not going to be canceled. And I'm just saying it again. What do y'all want from her? Y'all sat there and said, oh, she posted an apology on her page. I don't believe her because she didn't do it live. Then she does it live. Now y'all saying she just rambling. She ain't saying nothing. No. Just be 100% honest. Some of y'all don't like her music or some of y'all don't like her. So y'all counter out in the, in, in the first place and don't give her a chance. Just be honest and say that mess. Dude, I've known so many people or seen so many people that sat there and didn't like a person's music and instantly said, oh no, she's canceled, who cares? And her music trash, whatever. Like, it's just, it's just disrespectful, man, because you, you're, judging somebody off of one situation and you think you got the power to cancel them just like that no that's why i don't take cancel culture serious in the first place i've seen people say oh she's canceled 
he's canceled. He's canceled. Remember something. Wasn't Lil Boosie supposed to be canceled? Huh? Before he was going on Instagram like, Put your ass on live, I'll give you a thousand dollars. Yeah. Because wasn't he, wasn't he letting his, uh, kids and sex with, uh, older women? Older women was getting paid to do that to his kids? But, but yeah, it, it don't matter unless he's doing something on live, right? Exactly. Don't, I don't want to hear it. Because as soon as Boosie will say something on Instagram, that's, that's cool and everything. Y'all going to be like, eh, maybe he's saying he ain't so bad after all. I ain't saying I got a problem with Lil Boosie. No. Lil Boosie's cool. But he has his moments that need to be checked. The problem is y'all want to check it, but then don't want to say nothing when he go on live or something. And that's just the facts. And I want to say something else right here, too. For all my black people, I know there's something, you know, terrible going on right now and everything. And I'll address that later. But be 100% honest, okay? Y'all said Doja Cat doesn't sound like she, she really meant it. Understand when you're already explaining something that you're already caught on, it doesn't really mean anything. It's like, okay, can I just leave it alone? Because we get what happened and it's over. But be 100% honest. Name one time a white person made a public apology about something they did and you said apology accepted. Be honest. I'm not saying you should, uh, you know, accept their apology. No, 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 no. But be honest. You don't believe what they say because the way they say it doesn't relate to how you would say something or doesn't sound genuine because it doesn't come from your perspective. If a black person apologizes or something, you could feel it in their pain because you feel like, all right, yo, she's like, oh, an African-American woman or he's an African-American man. I can hear it in him that he means it because I've been through that before. But when you hear it from a white person, a white male, a white female, it won't sound as genuine because you're not used to a white person apologizing. And when you finally hear a white person apologizing, it doesn't sound genuine to you because you're not used to hearing it. Like, and, and I think I've noticed that over the last few years or so in, in all seriousness, because it, it will never come across like they mean it. But sometimes they really might if they're breaking down crying or something. You, you form a, bu a whole bunch of black people, they're not going to agree with it because it doesn't sound genuine, okay? That's the case with Doja Cat here. Doja Cat just didn't sound genuine. But the fact of the matter is, she really means that because, yo, she's on, she's in the public eye confessing herself that, yo, she did this, she did that. She was in, you know, a bad state in, once in her life and she would go to group chats and everything. And, dude... And I sat there and I accepted that because I was like, you know what? I can learn to forgive, but I'm not going to forget this situation. You're on your last strike, Doja. That's how I feel. Okay, simple as that. But y'all expect me to believe everybody and say, oh, Doja Cat's canceled because this and that. Y'all couldn't even cancel Lil Boozy at the right time. You can't even cancel Kodak Black at the right time. Y'all don't even know how to cancel NBA Youngboy for literally being on camera hitting his woman. But as long as he's talking about something in his lyrics, y'all are going to say facts. Be honest. As long as you're hearing some NBA Youngboy new music, you're going to say facts. And you're going to forget a single thing, every single thing he did. And just, just be honest, okay? And that's the problem with cancel culture. When it comes to cancel culture... A person that you really like can't be canceled, even when they do the worst things. So if somebody says, oh, your favorite rapper is canceled because he did this, he did that. No, there's going to be like 100,000 stands that come around and say, no, he's not canceled because da 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 and da 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 You know what I'm saying? And I'll even bring this up. You know, when Doja Cat was bringing up her didn't do nothing thing. No, 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 no. I get that. I get it 100%. Dude, she shouldn't have never used that in the first place. You know what I'm saying? It could be taken the wrong way or anything else. Well, it was taken the wrong way. But remember something, kids. Eminem came out with a song called Foolish Pride. I think it was, that's what it was called. And he was talking about how much he hated black women. Said you're a whore. Black girls and white girls just don't mix because black girls are dumb and white girls are good shit. Yeah, some of y'all don't remember that. 
Eminem was had a a a really really old track called Foolish Pride, and he was just talking about how much he hated black chicks. You want to know what started that? Because he a, a black girl did him wrong. Simple as that. But we're not going to cancel Eminem over that. We're going to realize that that was in the past, and he was he was mad, and he was going through some stuff. Simple as that. That's exactly how I looked at it about this situation here. Here's what all I'm saying. Y'all think that y'all have so much power in what y'all do on social media that it baffles me that y'all don't seem to be in real life. Y'all rather be in a virtual life talking about what the celebrities are doing, judging what the celebrities do, instead of putting yourself in their own shoes. And let's just be honest. Some of us are never going to be in that situation where the celebrities are now. So what's the point of judging them about the situation if you don't know what's really going on behind closed doors? Be honest, people. Because I'm at that point in my life where I'm sick of being, you know, I'm sick of judging rappers about what I heard in the media. Knowing good about the media likes to fake attention, do all this, do all that, create storylines or create what ifs and all that mess. I'm at that point in my life where I'm trying to stay away from that mess. And maybe you should too. With that being said, cancel culture should be canceled. And all, everybody should agree. Because at the end of the day, I'm not, I don't have the whole world in my hands to tell who, who deserves it and who doesn't. The people do. But as the people that have the power of social media, please use it responsibly. That's all I got to say about this.